Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all well. It's another week. We're back to do some more drawing. I am Nick from Cardiff Life Drawing. Thank you for joining me today, those of you here live, and if you're watching this later on, awesome. And um, feel free to use the hashtag Cardiff Life Drawing if you want to post any drawings for us to see, and we can say hello. Um, if you're watching live, you can say hello on the little chat box. Apart from that, we'll go straight into some drawing, I think. I think that's the plan. So, that took me out of the way a little bit. And we'll do this. And we'll plow straight on for some drawing. Let me just do that. Okay. So, some of you have been watching probably the last few classes, so you know the basic shapes I use. Hopefully they're useful. And we're going to use those basic shapes again today, just warming up now. Okay, let me just pull my canvas over slightly. I hope you're all keeping well in this these slightly strange times. Let me just move my camera the wrong way. Okay. I'm gonna draw this figure. This is a this is a classic, almost Nick warm up drawing. This one because it's just a classic front on squash and stretch. But I guess that sometimes what it's about when we're warming up is just doing getting that first drawing under our belt. So we've got my upper torso and my lower torso. Obviously looking at the squash here and the stretch here, making sure I get those dynamics. So I'm going to put my lower torso in, just really simple building blocks. Might be building a little bit long in the body. Let's see where it goes. Um, I already feel like I've got to chop a little bit off that. Try and really ideally these lengths here and this length here are the same length. I'm just going to put in the little hole for the tube of the neck. And I'm going to put my center line in. Down the sternum. Okay, down the chest plate. Cool. A few of you have joined. Hello, I hope you're all well. Sorry, I plow kind of straight on. Good morning, Myla. How are you? I hope you're well. I kind of didn't, I just kind of plowed straight on with the drawing. I hope everyone's okay with that. I think that's what we're here to do. Ribcage would sit in there somewhere, I guess. Not that it matters too much, and I want to keep that nice and light. And uh, let's start building some shape on this. And I'm going to build a little bit of squash in here, an external oblique. And then I'm going to come out on the hip and straighten up. And then come out on the leg bone. Leg bone sits in here, in the lower torso. And I'm just going to zoom out to get my lengths. So I'm going to put in my gesture here, one length to the knee, second length to the ankle, about the same length, and probably about the same as one of these lengths, and I've got just that little triangle shape, which I'm sure I'll change in a minute for my foot. Hey Annie, how are you? Um, I'm going to make sure this is parallel on the other side. So I'm going to come out on here, and this leg is going to come out on the side there. Okay, thanks for saying hello guys, it's nice to know people are there. Um, we'll plan on building some of the shapes, so imagine, if, if I can imagine this volume on the mass there, coming down, my basic shapes just rocking right down to the knee. Something about here, and this figure is quite slight in the upper leg, so you're seeing space between the legs, and we're gonna have some problems here, and I'm gonna have to thin that down or something. I'm gonna pull that back in. That should be like on that, really. Hello from Bristol. Hello, Francesca. It's, uh, you might be a new person, so hello, I hope you enjoy the class. Let's 
So just something like that, and I'm going to drop. This leg is going to come down here. Just that basic tube for now. We'll figure it out in a minute. Um, okay, let's build a bit more form onto the torso area. So with that rib cage in here, we know that from the last rib we're going to get our stretch coming down. So kind of get my change of direction here. And I got the hip is going to come out in there. And I am going to use my eraser, my rubber, and just lighten out some of that shape. She looks a little bit slight in my drawing, to be fair. I almost want to bulk her out a bit. That's why we're warming up. I'm going to pull my center line over very slightly. Sorry to correct lines as I'm going along. This is me warming up. The stomach is building the mash of thinking about the roundness of the stomach in here. So you can think about how it rolls around here down into the groin. This then flattens, center line flattens and comes around the stomach, the center line and down through the groin. I wonder if that makes sense. Belly button maybe on this figure here somewhere. Remember on that belly button, not drawing that, I'm drawing that because I'm looking across the rounded object. Search for this hip a bit in there. I'm going to put a little bit more curve in this top of that thigh. Got a little bit of crunch here, so I just feel the need to apply some marks to build that up. Okay, let's get a little bit of shape on this leg. So we've got the front of the Icarus crest here and here. So if I'm aware of that, it might allow me to try and build a little bit more shape in this leg. So I've got the leg muscle there coming into that. Like this. If that makes sense. So I'm getting a little bit of shape there. Yeah, so I'm aware of that that form. Now this leg is actually turning slightly because that knee on my original drawings in some ways it comes over even more. It comes right over there. All right, so I'm going to come around the back of that shape and then I'll get my second curve coming in behind the knee. For that reason my shin is down here and I am going to reposition that foot now because it turns. See how I draw the top of the ankle, like that curve there, just that form, and I'm going to pull down and draw that simple kind of foot shape, if that makes sense. Thank you for the thumbs up, those that are giving a thumbs up. If you like the class, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I suppose it helps. I suppose it tells people it's okay. I'm going to draw this calf muscle. And about, I'm going to stop in about, I'm making sure I stop about halfway. Yeah, so I pull in and then it then it would is finishing about halfway in there. So I'm gonna see some of the muscle on that side and then I'm gonna straighten down into the ankle bone. If that makes sense. Zoom in a bit so you can see, because I'm gonna come down here now and come into that ankle bone. And I'm gonna show a little bit of the back of the heel. And I'm going to try and show a little bit of definition on the foot there. And on this drawing, I'm just going to put in the big, suggest that big toe. I'm not going to do a lot because I've zoomed in quite a, a long way just to show you what I'm drawing, putting a bit of weight on that muscle. In the end, that part of my drawing is quite small. 
I'm not at the moment doing a toe study. Maybe that's another time we could study toes. Maybe. Right, let's get this other leg in. Some rounded mass in here. And I wonder if we're seeing a little bit of the three quarters of that knee. So I'm just trying to show the sidebar of that knee. To see if I need to put that in. Give a little bit of shape on this muscle and then scoop up and stop. Keep this distance here. Right, because you're looking at the side of the leg. Let's get this calf on. So I'm going to make sure it, when it pulls in, I'm about halfway down that distance. I've got my shin. Get a little bit curved to it so it doesn't feel too stiff. Pulling down in here. And on this drawing, pulling straight down into the ankle bone. And I'm going to pull the heel up. And remember, the basics of that foot. We draw triangles for feet. The basics of this foot is something like this triangle. With the toe. But we're allowing for the square of the heel. So this needs to come, the legs coming in, you come into the square of the heel, and that's going to give you a little bit of shape then, help you build the shape into the ball of the foot. Something like that. I'm feeling I need to get a little bit more mass on that triangle. And that ankle bone becomes important. So on this one, I'm dropping in the heel. I'm going to drop in a little bit of shape there, and I'm going to come down. This one's ended up a little bit higher than my original drawing. Oops. And I'm going to show my fold. I've got my big toe. I've got some of the toes are in there somewhere. Didn't draw that right one. Something like that. All right. But um, I like the perspective I've created there, so that's okay. Just draw it my own way. Totally different way, my own way. Cool. It's kind of working. Let's come up to the upper torso then. And... and usually so, this figure's carrying on the direction almost of the sternum through the neck. So the neck is going to come out of this tube hole as it were and I'm gonna then drop in a generic my kind of generic head shape I'm not drawing a portrait I'm just blasting down some figure drawings warming up at the beginning of the day and seeing how they sit I wonder if mine needs to be a little bit bigger we'll find out in a sec that's it's gonna lighten this out I'm going to put in my trapezius, so I'm going to roll that little diagonal motion through. Make sure it connects into the deltoid. See if I can push that behind slightly. So to help with that, I'm going to make sure I don't... I'm going to roll this... This is We're coming into the pectoral muscle here. Remember the pectoral muscle sits there. And obviously here, male and female, it's the same. So I'm rolling from that flexoral muscle and I've deliberately kind of drawn this deltoid trying to roll it back and put some weight, let's put some weight on the deltoid just here and I can get into the bicep tricep about the same length again on the forearm and remember, when we first draw forearms, we're likely to draw arms the same thickness. What you're, you're slowly learning is that, that muscle sat up here. So a shorthand for that quite often by artists is something a bit like that. If that makes sense. So it narrows here than it is there. Um, and actually there's a bit more of a curve to it so you can and kind of the bones are on the top if that makes sense if that kind of makes sense so on this side I've got that bicep in front of so let me roll that round and then I'm going to put the curve underneath and a slightly flatter shape on top and I'm just going to break into break direction again on the hand it's going to put a gesture in for this hand, so I've got the thumb in here and just some gesture in there. It's not the greatest thumb. 
So I'm gonna check my lens. Should be okay. I wonder if I'm gonna look at that later and think it needs a bit more mass to it. Comes in a little bit more thickening and then maybe a little bit more length to it, but we'll find. We'll find. Yeah. Is what it is. Right, down here we can get a little bit more shape because you're going to have the pectoral muscle. This lady then, her bust rolls down through here. So I'm going to roll generic kind of pear shape I'm rolling in. And then I put the aureoli in just here, rolling over to one side so the form line comes around. Something like that. And then into the rib. And I'm going to roll that. That's the fat tissue or the following also the, the motion of the pectoral muscle, rolling it through to the other side. On this other side this shoulder is lifting slightly so we might lift, we might try and lift, show off and lift that pectoral muscle so if you get that kind of deltoid somewhere in here what I'm saying is we might try and lift that so we're sh I've shortened, not so much shortened but I've made sure this feels a little bit higher and I could try and lift that pectoral muscle a little bit and then maybe pull that bust up a little bit. And because of that, I'm going to stretch the aureola over and see if that works for me. Getting a bit fat in there, I think. So I'm trying to lift over that pectoral around that bust. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Lifting that muscle, that's a good thing because I'm adding extra shape. I've got just showing the edge of that rib again, just going in there, defining that. So I've got that little change there. And that's pulling together. Let's get a little bit more form on the pit of the neck and the collarbone. So I want to get my pit of the neck here, which if you pull that, I'm going to pull that ligament down just gently down the neck. So I'm, as I twist my neck, it's that. You can see from the corner. Build that neck in a little bit more, and then I'm going to suggest the collarbone. And I've seen some nice people talk about it online. I can't remember who off the top of my head. They basically talked about it's bit. It's like a set of handlebars. I've talked about this before, and it's one length, two length, that's like three equal lengths. Now you don't necessarily draw that, but if you think about if you think about that form in there. You decide which elements, like if you're seeing over the collarbone or under it, how you want to suggest it. So I'm just going to do something like that, I think. Hopefully that made sense. And today this figures the arm is out. Maybe leaning and we'll define that and lean it on a wall or something. So one length, two length, about the same, yeah? And what we're going to do is, it might not have been on this one, we're going to draw a little shape like it's leaning on a wall. So I'm just going to break break that finger, coming in there, I can hide a lot of the rest of that. And there might be a thumb just dropping in there. Okay, not again too worried, I'm not doing a detailed hand drawing. I'm going to round the wrist. Get a little bit of shape. And you can see I'm stylizing or defining a bit more shape in here. I'm wider here than I am here. And I'm also going to put this deltoid in front of a little bit again. So it drops in, getting a little bit of curve in there. A little bit of weight on that deltoid. Just going to see how my lengths work. I'm going to cheat and I'm going to. Sorry, pull that back just a touch on mine. Sorry to do digital cheating and to mark me down. Head, we kind of left that to the end. I don't normally like to do that because we we freak out as artists. Oh my god, I gotta draw a head! Don't freak out! We're gonna keep it really simple. We're gonna put a center line in. About halfway would be our our eye line. What we're going to do is we're going to do this the really simple artistic way it seems to work for a lot of people. We're going to just smudge in where we want the eye to go. 
the sockets. About halfway between the eye line and the chin would be the end of the nose. We're going to put a mark in to end that. And about halfway between the nose and the chin, we've got the mouth. I'm going to suggest underneath the lip, almost more important than drawing some of that mouth shape. I'm just going to put some eyebrows in, or the, the ridge of the. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to close the eyes. I'm just going to drop this in. Ears would be from the from the eye to the nose. It's gonna need a little bit more form on that cheek. We'll just put, it seems to be a centre parting on this figure originally. Took it down behind the ear. We'll get a little bit of volume on hair. Remember it has volume, we'll just chuck it behind and we'll chuck this one, we'll allow this one to chuck behind here. A few lines in for gesture of motion. And I'm not gonna do much more than that. It's a little bit of an anime head. I can cope with that. If you can cope with that. <laughs> and we've done our first drawing. Cool. Is that okay with everyone? We're going to go straight on to another one. Okay, we've got a couple here. We'll try this side one. It was good to flip to that other view. I'm going to pull this drawing right over really quickly. And we'll plow straight onto this side view. And I'm going to use ovals. Lots of you know that. You draw with me. I'm really making sure I get a nice strong diagonal here and there. Might going to keep that in at the moment. So we've got this oval shape here. And uh, pulling back. And I will often do a, a what I'll call a pear shape. So that's my pear shape. Basically searching at an early stage for that hip and the back of the buttock. Those lengths should be about the same on, av on, on an average measurement. One, two, okay? But that's my construction. That's the easiest construction I see, especially from the side. Oval, which is an easy reputation, representation of the rib cage, and then that pear shape for that lower torso. Something like that. Cool. I'm not sure I can stand like that. This uh, person is quite flexible. I'm just going to line this out, it's a little bit scrappy, but you get the idea. The ribcage in the end isn't a perfect oval, because it does comes from that, that rib there, kind of changes direction, and then it narrows towards the top slightly, if that makes sense. Let's add, let me zoom in a bit because I'm probably a long way out. We're going to do a mixture of adding a bit of form in the squash now and think about the muscles. So we're going to put the squash in here and I'm going to think about the external oblique that might be sat in there somewhere. This rib's going to come right in. And I'm going to allow myself a bit of fun on the front of the hip. So I'm actually dropping that a little bit lower and I'm kind of defining that hip. And in the end it's going to come out on that on that leg. This distance here probably should be one of these lengths. Okay, so from there to there should be similar, I would have thought, to one of those or one of those. All right, so I'm just going to define a little bit of shape down the back and then give me a little bit of shape in that buttock. I'm going to I'm going to come around, so you're following this curve around coming up slightly and then coming into that leg. All right. And we'll see. We'll see if that helps me get some shape in it. This one's going to pop back like this and I'm just going to put a gesture line in and we'll see with that how that works. Right. 
rights. We're going to put the back buttock in. And I think you can see the other side, maybe on this drawing, the other side of the figure in here. So the spine's right in there, and we're seeing a little bit of that shape. And there should be a slight diagonal motion in those. For that reason, I'm just going to show a little bit more of the back and lower that shape. So this goes diagonally. So when I draw this, it's lower diagonally because I want, I think I want that, that buttock to roll around and I'm going to deliberately curve this way on that muscle. So it's got the end of the buttock, a bit of weight on the end of that buttock. Something like that. We'll see, we put some generic shapes in. So I'm a, when I'm putting these in now, I'm a little bit wider at the top. And I'm going to need to zoom out, forgive me a little bit just to get my measurement. So I'm thinking my rough measurement is this and this are about the same with the foot underneath. And we'll see that I'm just going to check that I can place my feet and it all feels about right. So I'm putting on that generic triangle. I'm going to put in this just drop in this generic shape and this should work when I put this on the toe now approximately We've just drawn the foot like this we're using that shape again and when I get that foot there I feel about I'm in the right direction if that makes sense okay if you're struggling there's a couple of things you can do there's one argument to say, this is my little leg here. Um, I thought I'd pull the angle a bit more out to the side. Does that make this? Okay, and what that will have done is keep the length. The length was right, but it will keep the, uh, the baseline working better. The other thing was to change if if this is if you're still not getting it working is potentially to change this angle slightly and then pull that back and then you might find it works there. So if your foot's not kind of lining up, because I could there's an argument to say I think I could even drop that knee very slightly, get a little bit more length, kind of drop some length like that then. I'd want to thin this very slightly and I'd get a little bit more length on that. So this length then feels more attuned to that length. Just different things, but quite often it's 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 this angle that you need to adjust. That's kind of okay. It's more dynamic than the original one. I don't mind that. I, I particularly quite like what we drew last week. It was really dynamic last week. They were kind of really stretched out poses. Okay, let's see if we can add a bit more form to these legs. Let's just get a little bit of curve to that, a little bit of thick and thinning. Coming down to the knee, I'm going to suggest the end of the knee. This is pretty side on though, so I've got the end of the knee coming into the shin. I'm going to roll and get a little bit of form on my line there into that buttock. I'm going to roll, flick down into the muscle. I'm going to roll into that calf. Stopping about halfway, pulling down into the ankle bone, and I'm going to roll the ankle bone just in there. And I'm going to get a bit more shape on this part of the drawing. So I've got the back of the heel down into the ball of the foot. Um, this would be the outside toe, this would be the small toe, the little toe, sorry. So I'm just going to allow for the fact you're going to see more information there. I hope that helps a bit. I might suggest like the sidewall of that knee a bit. And on my original drawing I've thought about briefly... We could have the sacrum back in there. I don't think you're going to see much of it. And I've briefly considered 
the gluteus maximus. So I'm kind of I'm searching for more form. Right, on this side, I'm going to curve the leg here, back into the back of the knee. Let's get a little bit of shape on that muscle because of this fold line down to the back. Now, this is we're looking at the back of the calf here, so I'm going to draw this curve in. And it helps sometimes to say you're looking at the back of the leg. I'm going to draw the top of that curve, and I'm going to pull that calf muscle halfway like Max gonna actually suggesting my understanding standing of that that calf I'm gonna round behind the knee and then come into that calf so behind the knee and then into that calf remember the calf does actually split down the middle it's rare to see that it's quite ripped and it'd be, have to be quite tight we'll just suggest it how it rolls and then I'm gonna come down to the ankle bone down here, ankle bone. A little bit of weight on there. With the sh uh, back of the leg down there. The heel, the top of that foot, and you can see the big toe. Something like that. I'm going to do a lot more than that. Take out some of those earlier guidelines. Some of that. We getting carried away? Am I getting carried away with time? Let's build this upper torso. Let's get that deltoid in. Start thinking about the basic shape. Where we're searching for, we're going to put that deltoid in. What I need to do is probably put some basics in for the arm, and then I can build that. So it's, I've got one length, and then a bit of foreshortening, this pulling away. My balance is still working, because the head is kind of sat in there. So my figure doesn't feel like it's falling over or back, I don't think. My hands are up in here, we'll figure that out in a minute. And then my head is tucked back. So you, on my original drawing, you saw a little bit of the neck. But it's kind of the skull is dropping back in there somewhere. All right. So this feels like my weight still feels like it's not going to fall over either side to me currently when I'm looking at this. Okay, let's see where we can take this in. So from that elbow I'm going to roll down into the underneath the armpit. I do need to study how the muscles work a little bit more underneath that armpit. Got that deltoid rolling up. Got the bicep tricep in here. I'm going to kind of pull down to the back of the lats. Shoulder blade, something like that. I'm working a bit blind there, stretching my knowledge. I'll be honest, I need to look at explore that a bit more. I'm not gonna lie. Got the pectoral muscle here, and coming down. Pretty much side on front side on view of that bus, so I'm just going to come out and show the, the nipple and roll that around and imagine that sat on top of the rib cage or the, the chest plate. And I'm allowing some of this flat distance of the rib and then the stretch. So let's draw some of the stomach rolling down. I'm going to draw a little bit of shape in this stomach mass and then. 
rolling in there. Just searching for a bit more form in there. In the end, that would follow through. I've drawn ribs kind of rolling around this image. See, I want to draw, I wanted to draw some suggestion of how that rib would work there. Around here. Just vague mark making. Something like that. Elbows in the middle of that plane. So I can then round this back through. And the thumb is going to be on this inside. So I'm going to suggest that thumb and the roundness of the hand. I'm going to keep this. So I'm drawing this, this shape here. And I'm just going to going to break one finger out. I'll keep this simple. I don't want to get. I don't want it to be over um, detailed and take away from the rest of the drawing. If that makes sense. broken her arm there I think. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'll come back to it if need be. <laughs> totally twisting my arm. Let's soften this jaw from where it would connect, go towards the ear. And I'm just going to give the end of the nose probably should think about the, the upper and lower plane of the lip. I'm keeping this quite, trying to keep this quite gestural still. Because you're not going to see that much. And I think about the whole image. I've got the pit of the eye in here. And mine you're going to see a little bit of the eye. And then there's hair. Dropping down. I'm going to use gravity to give me some form back in there. Take out some of these guides. lines for the hair. The other arm is back in there. I'm not sure I'm a great hand of that, fan of that hands, but I think that's where I'm going to sit on that drawing. Okay. Swings and roundabouts. Very twisted arm. I'm not sure I can twist my arm quite that much. can probably pull the twist back a bit by pulling that back around a bit. I think we'll move on. Okay. Shall we do another one? We have time. 20 minutes? God, I'm such a slow drawer. Quite like this upper and lower torso twist, so I think we'll work on this one. Let me just pull this one over a bit. And we shall do another one. So, looking across that diagonal motion across the shoulders. Don't draw this figure flat now. Upper torso is diagonal. Something like that. And the lower torso sitting diagonally away from it. Something like this. So my upper and torso block got that squash stretch. All right. Let's put that spine in. Nicely over to this hand side, so this is much shorter than this because it's three quarters. 
and then that spine line drops down here. Stays nicely over that side. <clears throat> Let's think about, you know earlier on we drew the pear shape, so I'm going to make sure my pear shape comes to the bottom of that first construction shape. I'm, I'm playing around with the bottom of the buttock, and the pear would be sat in here, because I'm going to have the front of the hip sat in there. This is my pear, if that makes sense. And what that's also going to help me find maybe is the um, back of the sacrum. So this little triangle, sometimes seen as a whole diamond. And what I'm looking for is this. I'm going to try and make this, and I don't like that angle at the moment. I'm going to think about generally a parallel motion between the buttock that and the top of the hips. So I'm going to try and get a little bit more dynamics on that angle. So it's going to help me second this and that can help me pull this buttock up. So I'm going to try and keep that that angle, this angle working on the same kind of parallels or in the same perspective. That's my sacrum. And the back muscle then actually rolls up here. Let's see where it takes us. We've got a nice bit of squash there. <coughs> the back of the um, external oblique. And I might even leave some lines in crunching like the lower part of that rib. And, the, and then the, the spine rolling down into that tailbone down through towards that buttock. Something like that, if that makes sense. <clears throat> Very scrappy drawing I'm doing. Searching. And then I'm gonna get a, try and get a little bit more shape in that kind of hip and then into that buttock just to try and get more shape. I'm going to try and curve this line into that tailbone a little bit, pull that around, or you know what else we'd have in here is that that glutinous maximus, so it's a bit like a butterfly wing, does that make sense? Jelly bean. Um, but I just want to keep this nice and light, I'm aware of that form kind of sitting in there somehow. And I'm going to use some of these shapes just to draw that that leg in for now. I'll start suggesting where that leg's going to go. Somewhere in there. I'm going to need more mass on that for sure. It needs to feel higher, wider there than it does here. So I'm just kind of playing with that shape. And that other leg is nice and high. That's why it kind of pulls out here somewhere. Like it's lifting in that that hip. Do a knee there. We'll put these in. So let's see. Let's just drop this one back. So we're looking for this length to be similar to this length, maybe. So I'm going to just put in some generics and let's see where it takes us. This calf down and then. Um, Suggest what I might do with this arm, leg, arm, leg, calf, down, and then uh, we look fairly flat on in there, and we might get a little bit on the toe in this one. We'll see. We'll see if we play with that in a sec. Something like that. Right, spine coming right up. We get the trapezius curve back through here. That trapezius in the end will roll down the back. The generic kind of a generic shape is something a bit like that. I sometimes draw, simple as that always, but it kind of helps. I've got the back deltoid in here. Pulling this arm is pulling out. So something a bit like that. I just need to zoom out to check my measurements there. Is about right, and a lot of foreshortening in that arm. So you're seeing very little length because you're basically seeing down a tube like that, aren't you? And 
this hand was dropping down in this drawing. So we're just seeing the little finger. Let's draw the other one in. So we're seeing a little bit more of the top of the deltoid maybe as this arm kind of rotates up. Thinking about this coming across at the same angle to that. And then a little bit of that bicep tricep there. And what I'm going to do is roll that down into the, the lat there. And I'm going to see it on the other side. And I'm, I am drawing it on the other side. So there it is here. Rolling in and then into the rib. A little bit of the pectoral muscle, maybe. Oh, I'm trying, those are coming in the same angle, so I'm just changing how that angle sits. And then a little bit of that bust. But that's a lot of side, so. I'm rounding the shape. Obviously, the more I kind of perk that shape, the more very side on. We're, we're looking more around the the form of that. I don't want to make it too big. I'm going to show the end of the rib and then I'm aware of the rib will pull back in here. And then because of that then I got like this coming down stretching and then and I had this kind of playing with the idea it does this and I'll probably stretch down and then in, show me a little bit of that. I'm going to pull my hip back I think. I want to come down and show a little bit of that stomach. That's why I've just did that line, get a bit more volume on there. Just put a little bit higher on my hip. And show less of that in this drawing. Just how the ribs roll round, maybe. Cool. <clears throat> beep, beep. Let me just check what my brush is doing in a sec. There it is, back again. Lost its uh, thick and thin for a moment. What I want to do is the thing about that trapezius is that hollow in the deltoid, because then the deltoid splits hypothetically down in here, but just allows allow me to get a little bit more thought about how that works. Down into that elbow, just kind of coming a bit of weight on that point there. And rolling back into that armpit. A little bit of shape on the deltoid on this side, down the bicep. Elbow is just in there because that comes then around to that tricep on the other side. Make that a little bit more like mark making and rolling that muscle in. And I'm going to just keep the gesture and some of that. Let's keep the tube of the neck rolling up. I'm going to round this. This is the whole neck. This pull it, muscle is pulling up this trapezius. And the head is sat in here. This is like a default shape including hair almost of how I can build that hair. I'm just pulling out to make sure my scale feels okay. And let's figure had longer hair. So I've I've allowed that to kind of come down the back. Sitting down the figure. Round the head, dropping down using gravity, maybe coming across the other side of that shoulder and the head tucking the other side in there. Taking out some guidelines I don't want. A few lines showing how the hair falls around the form. Something like that. Alright, I wonder if you should see more of that arm in there, but I haven't drawn it. Cool. Shoulder blades up in here. I'm not sure I'm going to show much more of that. I'm happy with that. Let's pull down and finish some of this off. I'm going to get a little bit more shape on that knee. 
then give me some calf. A little bit more rounding on that muscle, pulling back, and I've got the back of that, back of that calf in there. Hello. <laughs> That's my family. They almost came in. Say hello. I'm gonna show the end of that muscle there. Got the back of the calf. About halfway, remember. And I'll probably draw these a little bit stylized, but something like that. Pull him down. Now, I've got to point that foot in the right direction, and that's what I'm going to do to help me with that, is think about how that ankle bones, because I'm kind of working blind making this up, making this up, because I don't have reference. I'm going to put that foot slightly at a diagonal, and I'm going to pull the ankle bone and draw this side of the ankle bone. Let me zoom in now, because I think I'm happy with that. So something like that. And then we get a little bit more shape on the back of the heel. Something there, if that makes sense. Which probably means you would, hypothetically, you're seeing a little bit of that shape there. I have drawn that a little bit stylized. Okay. On here then, to allow for that, we can say we're seeing a little bit underneath that leg. Because that would be kind of cool. I'm going to see some of that shape down this calf. Remember, hypothetically, it's, it's a bit like that. Down through here, so you're going to see a little bit the this side of the ankle bone again, I think, will work nicely. Just going to get, try and get a little bit more rhythm in that shin curve and then thin. Because in a way, on this foot now, I am seeing the 3D mass of the foot, I'm just, going to, just turning it slightly, kind of think about it as a 3D form like that, that's why I put the ankle bone thing over the ankle bone there, you've seen like the back of the leg come in. So as I draw this now, that's what I'm thinking about, and to allow, to help with that, I've got the heel, but then I might overrun it and then show a little bit more of the underneath of the foot, and show less of the toe, it's like the little toe on this side. I don't know if I'm mumbling now. Something like that. Does that feel okay? It doesn't feel too bad. Cool. Something like that. I think. Fab. And we're only about five minutes, so I'd probably leave it there. What was the other drawing I had? I had a back view. So that's kind of cool. We did three drawings, did them a little bit quicker. Hopefully that was useful today. I'm just going to pull that one down. Cool. I hope that's got you going for the day for your drawing. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for those who joined me live. Thank you very much. If you're watching this one later on, awesome. Um, if you're watching this one later on, give me a little thumbs up. That's always nice. But apart from that, take care, everyone. Keep drawing. And um, we'll see you next week. And we'll do another one of these and see where it takes us. Okay, guys. Cool. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.